everybody. I've got some journals to share with you this Friday. And let's see, we'll take the big one first. Hope everybody's doing okay out there. This one is a grunge journal. It's eight. Ah, looks like five and a quarter. I used a bunch of neutral fabrics on the cover. And laces and um, different laces and parts of a crochet doily. And put this picture of a corset shop. And then I thought that was kind of cute. And the sale price at eighteen thirteen. And the back is, it's a denim fabric and it's been coffee stained. And then a duck cloth tie. It's been stitched. I stitched it in brown this time. On the inside, I used a real pretty green fabric. And again, I copied, I grunged all of it up. Got some different fabrics here and a little pearl with a, a vintage lady, and on the inside I put one of these um, cards with twine. This comes off so that you can open it up and write in it. And write on the back too. It's been stamped and inked and all kinds of goodies. And then I put this card in there. And I'm not going to make you watch me tie that up. Really nice grunge, torn edges. And uh, very faint images and stampings and crackle and all kinds of stuff going on. Little coffee stain pocket with a little flower that I made. Some stamping back here. Little card. I just left all the threads. I thought that added to the grungy look. Look at that. Super duper grungy. Torn edge there. Birdie, that's the stitching from the other side. The card there, little uh, tag with a little doodad and some stamping. Another image here, it looks like a family portrait with the puppy dog. Cute. Y'all know how much I love those, those puppy dogs. Bunch of laces here. And some fuzzies, and that's the stitching from the other side. Stamped image of a flower. Really nicely grunged up. I like how this one came out. Little card here. Stitching. Another image there. Little birdie. I love that birdie stamp. So cute. This is... Uh, Part of a table runner. It was the edge of a table runner. And I inked it up and stained it up. Put a little stamp thing right there. Vintage style. A little postcard. Another tuck spot here with a little image. I like how that hangs over the top there. A vintage photo on both sides. This looks like a dress shop image because it looks like she's hemming a dress. That's the stitching from the other side. A little stamped image, some fabrics, a little birdie. Thank you. It's cute. I just stitched right on over that card. This pocket is made out of gauze that's been coffee stained, and of course, it's got all different fabrics. And I had a long card, so I folded it up. And uh, it holds the tag. It's a little mini tag. Ain't cute. Cute. Cute is the word of the day today. Get back in there. Another vintage image. This is another tag on a piece of ephemera. And that's the original ephemera. And some stitching there. A little card here with a little tag tuck spot. Love the contrast. Another image here. It says Victrolas. Cute. Over here is a Tim Holtz paper clip, and then I just put some extra cards for writing. 
really like that. A postcard here. And this is a pocket made out of linen with a little image and um, a seam binding flower. And I put one of the Tim Holtz cards in there that I uh, backed with uh, lined paper and then just put some laces and a rosette. Another little card here. Plenty of places to write. I was concentrating on writing journals this week. So, um, I did leave lots of space for that. Look at the crackle on that. That came out nice. Another image here. This folds out. So you get the back of this paper and that to journal on. That's one of my favorite images. Little mini card here with some stitching. Nice stamped image here. That's from the other side. Little butterfly. Some fabrics. I just like the random stitching in a grunge journal. I think that really adds a lot. Got some different fabrics and laces here with a seam binding flower. And this folds open. little tuck spot here. Beautiful dress. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Another tag there. Another linen pocket with a different kind of flower. And I put in two cards with fabrics. I don't know where that came from, but I like it. I have so much stuff, and I and I have no idea. Sometimes I find it and use it, and sometimes I don't see it for months. So <laughs> I know y'all who make stuff have probably have the same issue. Another pretty image, and I really like these, so I put two in here. It's some cheesecloth and a little heart. Definitely want to make some more of these. Be cute. Really add a lot. Another card here. And I left the threads. If they drive you crazy, just snip them off. But I think it kind of adds to the to the grunge look. Another card. Little mini card here, butterfly, leaf stitching. Another gauze pocket with a whole bunch of different fabrics, a little mini lace flower. Look at that. It just, this one really <laughs> came out good. Oh, Sammy Jo says hello, everybody. She's right under the table. That's from the other side. Just different fabrics made in the USA. It is made in the USA. Little card there. And there they go. The sad part is they think the back door is open, but it's not. <laughs> Another fabric pocket with cheesecloth and different fabrics and crochet doilies. Just a mixture of stuff there. And two little cards. Couldn't get out, could you? So you came back. Got a little card there with a little piece of, of yarn. My heart has been calling for you. Love that. Lady doing laundry. Bunch of different fabrics. Little tuck spot here with a real pretty card there. Love that. Just a bunch of places to write on, and yet it's just covered with stuff. Little pocket here with some uh, fabrics and a little flower and a little card there. And then the back is real similar to the front. Got 
uh, the same, not the exact same laces, but it's got the same flower with the pearl. Some ladies there, and I put in one of these envelopes that uh, we make, and um, it's just empty for you to store whatever you need to. And, of course, these pockets will hold more. They're really big. There's the back again, and the spine, and the front. I want to thank y'all so much for being here with me today. I've got a couple more videos to make, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.